One. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, Honorable Babu Owino, and today I'm Teacher Babu Owino. First, I would like to wish fellow Kenyans a happy Labor Day. Secondly, I would like to urge Kenyans to adhere to the COVID rules so that we can mitigate the infection of coronavirus 2019. Thirdly, I would like to take this opportunity to apologize on behalf of all those students, all those learners who are not in a position to access internet or not in a position to get smartphones so that they can follow my tutorials. Now, today's class, back to class. Today's class, we have mathematics. And I would like to tell learners that mathematics is the easiest subject on earth. And with mathematics, it's x plus 1, x minus 1, sorry, into, you collect this x and minus 2 together also, x minus 2. So we have our equation simplified as x minus 1 into x minus 2 divided by x minus 2. So this x and this x goes. So the equation, the equation that we have simplified is x minus 1. So you are told to integrate this with the limits of 5 and 2. Okay? 5 and 2 dx. So we want to integrate this value. So I want to start on a fresh page on the integration. So we are integrating with the, the limits, upper limit is 5, lower limit is 2 of x minus 1 dx. So when you are integrating x, just write x, then x has a silent power of 1. Add 1 to it, remember differentiation we were subtracting 1. But integration you add 1, then what you divide with it, what you add, what you get from the power, you divide with that answer that you get, with the summation of 1 plus 1, that is 2. Then minus, remember here we have 1, 1 can also be written as 1 times x raised to power 0. So 1 can be written as x raised to power 0. You add 1, then divide it by that value that you get. 0 plus 1 is 1. And now, our limits here are 5 and 2. Okay? That's it. This gives us x squared divided by 2, okay, minus x raised to power 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. So therefore, x power 1 is x. 